mugs up, my britches. If you are new here, hello, my name is Brittany. And if you're returning from the failed live, welcome back. I'm clearly looking somewhat done up because we already started. I don't know what happened. My stream crashed. Here we are again. We're going to cover everything again. But in the event that you weren't there and you didn't get to experience the gloriousness, we're back, baby, to do another episode of Yes or Yawn. We come back every single Monday. We talk all sorts of shit about new makeup releases. We drink. I'm over this intro already because I already did it. <laughs> so we're drinking tonight the truly spiked apple spice. It's not the bomb.com. I am a little disappointed because um, I had to delete the initial taste test of that. <laughs> Man, it wouldn't be a normal Brit Clark video if it wasn't a hot fucking mess, though. Am I right or am I right? All aboard, everybody. So I'm just going to jump right into it. This was inspired by... Wow. I do that every single week, I swear. This was inspired by Samantha March's Will I Buy It series, where we come and cover all of the new makeup releases, the beauty news... The sales especially going on right now. Holy shit, they're everywhere. And I do my makeup at the same time. And I chitty chat with all you britches, all right? So, I'm probably going to blaze through a lot of the stuff that we already covered. Because a majority of you were watching, I'm sure. But I'll still cover everything. That way, if you're watching the playback, you didn't miss out on anything. But before we get into that, make sure y'all really come through on those thumbs ups. Because... YouTube apparently hates me today, as per usual. <laughs> and follow me on other my social... Wow, I'm flustered, okay? Follow me on all of my other socials. Look, at I'm all over the fucking place right now. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. Again, all aboard the Hot Mess Express, everybody. <laughs> I fucking can't. Again, this is going to be the reason that I start doing filmed content again. Not by choice. It's going to be because YouTube hates my ass. Anyways, let's dive into the beauty news and all that sort of shit. Okay. So let's start. I asked you guys this already, but let me ask you again. Who is shopping the last day of the VIB sale, huh? <laughs> Who's placing one more order? Don't lie. Don't lie. Just, just do it. Fuck it. <laughs> So the holiday savings event at Sephora, it ends tonight. If you guys are shopping, make sure you guys get your orders in. I have a feeling you'll have till probably midnight Eastern time. No, not midnight. Probably 3 a.m. Eastern time. Wow. I just need to go fucking home right now. 3 a.m. Pacific time is what I'm assuming that you'll have until. But I could be wrong. I would get the orders in like ASAP if you're planning on placing one. So that was the first set. I'm just going to fly through this, like I said. Next thing I wanted to mention was we have our darling Mel Thompson palette with Cindy Grace, the Tiny Marvels, is available for, I think it's on back order right now, but you could place your pre-order, I'm pretty sure, and a portion of the proceeds are going to be donated to Mel's family. So it's like a portion of the proceeds plus like her percentage that she would usually get for like commissions, I think, is all going to be donated to her family. So I just think that this is such a phenomenal palette. If you guys have wanted to see me use it, I've used it in previous new makeup release videos. I love this damn palette. It has my total stamp of approval on it. I think it's fantastic. And the fact that it's able, like you're able to donate to her family is just wonderful. So shout out to this palette. I'm so glad that they brought it back. I think it was with like the, um, basically like the family had to say that it was okay for them to bring it back. But it's available again. I have everything linked down below as per usual. And all the accounts that I refer to, Samantha's down there. I want to make sure I cover everything just because I'm a little flustered, okay? <laughs> so the next thing that I mentioned for makeup sales was Miss Pat McGrath. And this is where me, I'm over here like, I kind of done fucked up because I, I did place an order on Pat McGrath. I actually think I featured it in my last haul. Yes, I did. And I placed an order at Pat McGrath and then I ordered some at Sephora because in her initial sale, the holiday collection was not like applied in the 30% off initially. But this sale, it's you get, what is it? 25% off $50, 30% off if you spend $150, and then 35% off if you spend $250. You could spend that so fucking quick. Like a palette and like a couple items, you'll be easily at $150. So 
I mean, I think you're getting a better deal than what you'd get at Sephora. But here's, like, what I always say. I'm just over here, like, why doesn't she just, like, decrease the price of her products? <laughs> because she always has sales, it seems like. So this is a fantastic, I mean, discount. It's better than the Sephora one. But where I say I fucked up was because I bought everything at, like, during the first sale. And then I bought the rest of the stuff. The flies even back today. I bought the rest at Sephora for VIB and I could have waited for this if I knew it was coming <laughs> because the holiday collection does apply to this sale. So that's fantastic. Can y'all see me? Keep me posted because I was talking to myself for about 10 minutes after the last one turned off on me. <laughs> so Pat McGrath, if you're interested, I do have a link down below for whatever discount you're looking for. But I do wish she would just, like, lower the price and not have so many damn sales. But that's just me and my humble opinion, and nobody asked for it. Then we have R.E.M. Beauty by Ariana Grande. I talked about this previously. You guys know this if you watch these every single week. So we covered the initial, like, launch. We covered all the products, but this is now available. And I asked previously if you guys picked up anything because I did not. I was just kind of like, listen... I can't get past the uncircumcised dick of a lipstick. <laughs> I will think of that like every single time that I look at it. But in the event that you're not like a 12 year old like myself, <laughs> like what do you guys think of it? Are you interested? I like, I almost got like one of each item, but I'm still like, I don't think that I'm going to like it anyways. But then again, I could be wrong. I could be doing myself dirty. I don't know. Have you watched, have you watched any, like, reviews on this? Like, give me the tea, because, I don't know, I just, like, I'm not mad at it, but I feel like it could have been done a lot better, but it's very much on, like, the Ariana, like, it's very on brand, I guess you could say for her. But then we have the other celebrity makeup art, or not makeup artist, celebrity artist. <laughs> Harry Styles launched nail polishes, skincare, like, little stickers for your nails, we're not judging these nails today, okay? So, this is Pleasing, I think. Pleasing by Harry Styles. I initially saw this. I'm like, all right, it's something different. Like, I could respect that. And we talked in the previous live about how <laughs> it's a cash grab, which I said in that video, I was like, um, realistically, like, anytime anybody's selling product, it's a cash grab. Like, it just kind of is what it is. And... I give them props for doing something different. I really like the packaging on this, but overall I'm just like, I'm not going to buy this just because I, I won't fucking, I won't use it. And it's just like, I could appreciate something just different, but if I'm going to buy any fucking nail polish, it's going to be Hollow Taco or it's going to be Lights Lacquer. Just because those are the brands that are always intriguing to me, but I do think that he's pretty much nailing it on this packaging. But I also never realized, like, how much, like, I knew people loved, like, One Direction, myself included. But, damn, I feel like Harry Styles is all over my TikTok. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. He's very pleasing to look at. But I'm just like, damn, I didn't realize he had it like that. <laughs> oh, let's see what you guys are saying. The bottles are cute. Colors are not very interesting. That's where I thought the same thing. Like, this is definitely not something that I would really go for, especially for you've got the Perfect Polish set for $65. The Perfect Pearl Polish is $20. The Pearly Top Polish is $20. Like, these are, like, lux not luxury, but, like, high, like, high ticket prices, I think, for fucking nail polish. Then you have a Pearlescent Illuminating Serum for $35, a Pleasing Pen <laughs> That sounds so inappropriate for $30 and that's it. What is the most intriguing to me is that serum though. Just seeing like all those little like balls. <laughs> I'm nailing it today, guys. Just seeing like the aesthetic of that. I don't know. I'm just like, I'm so curious, but overall I'm just like, all right, packaging's cute. I'll give them that. These do look really pretty, but I know that I won't wear these. I didn't even know that Harry Styles wore, like, nail polish. Not that that's, like, anything wrong with that. But I, I guess I was just like, whoa, this came, like, out of nowhere. <laughs> Cute, different, but still gonna be a nah for me, though. So, yeah. 
expensive, but it's fine. Then we have Naturium, right? Is that how you pronounce it? I'm pretty sure. Naturium. The vegan, what is it? Vegan lactic acid emulsion 5%. This is supposed to gently exfoliate, help resurface and brighten, moisturize, and leaves the skin glowing. Again, I just don't ever get excited about skincare unless it's Tatcha. <laughs> just because I'm biased AF. I, I've never tried this brand before. <laughs> See, you guys are all 12 year olds too. I, <laughs> I just, I can't get excited about skincare. I, I just can't. I wish that I could because I'm like, maybe this would change my life. Can we talk about how good my, my skin looks freaking flawless today though. Damn. Anyways, back to what we were actually talking about. What blush do I want to use today? Let's use, what do we got in the eyeballs? Let's use the Alien Cosmetics. Um, yeah, I just, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I forget what I said earlier. <laughs> just like, you're, you're, I feel like how fast I'm able to go through, go through these is how you really know that I don't care. And then we talked about how I remember when everybody used to love them, some Tartlet palettes, like the Tartlet in Bloom, the original I used to love these. I think this is totally on brand as far as being something that Tarte would do for, you know, holiday because it's so basic. Like, tis the season to be fucking basic as fuck with your makeup products when it comes to holiday launches. Like, every single thing almost for holiday launches are, like, a basic-ass neutral palette. Like, this would be a palette back in the day, me, I would have lost my shit. I'd have been like, oh, yeah, I'm totally getting that. Just because the formula used to be fantastic. The color story is totally up my alley as far as, like, what I would look for on, like, a day-to-day. -day. But it's $52. There's also the 12-hour blush in bloom. It's $29. And then the Lights, Camera, Lashes 4-in-1 mascara is $24, which is a re-promo. I hate that mascara. It's, like, one of my least favorite that I've ever tried. So that's Easy Pass. Amazonian blushes. We talked about how they typically get hard pan. And I used to love those blushes so much, but then it's like, I actually found good blushes since then. And those just went right out the window. <laughs> so what was most intriguing to me was the Tartlet Full Bloom palette. But I'm still probably going to pass on that just because, first of all, I don't need that at all. <laughs> but this is one neutral palette that I was actually really, like, surprised at myself that I was interested in. This is actually ColourPop Holiday. This is the Roaring Hearts collection. And this is honestly, like, even though it's so basic, probably one of my favorites that ColourPop has done this year. Like, Disney collabs aside. Let's not get it twisted. Disney's crushing it <laughs> when it comes to ColourPop. But this has, let's see, I'm, like, trying to remember everything. A graphics ink liner, lashes, Super Shock Shadow Duos, Lust, Luster Dust, French Kiss Lip Lacquer, and then the eyeshadow palette. I'm most interested in the eyeshadow palette, but we talked earlier about this, like, um, sparkly black Super Shock looks really beautiful. But there's just something about the Super Shock formulas that I don't like. And then these are the Luster Dust. You got two different shades. And then you have the French Kiss Lip Lacquers. I don't, I, I would assume that they're, like, liquid lipsticks. I just, I think out of everything that I've ever tried from ColourPop, their lip products are by far my least favorite. Like, if anything, I only buy them now. If it's something like the Oogie Boogie where it's got, like, super cute packaging or something like that, it's, I fully go into it expecting to hate the formula. Just because I think every single lip product that I've ever tried from them, I have not liked. Like, strongly, strongly, strongly disliked. So this one... I could see myself getting the palette. I really like the overall aesthetic of the whole collection. It almost gives you, like, roaring 20s, which roaring hearts makes total sense. I'm not mad at it. You know what, Kat? You're right. It looks like Dominique Cosmetics. Maybe that's why I'm interested in it. <laughs> Maybe that's exactly why, because I could totally see that. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I'm just a neutral girl at heart. I love neutral palettes. And when I see, like, a cute-ass color story that just looks really pleasing to my eye, which that one does, I'm just like, ooh, I can appreciate it so much. But does that mean I'll buy it? 
That would be one that if I saw it in store, I probably would buy. If I swatched it in store and it was like really beautiful. Mm hmm. Yup, I would totally do it. So then we have Matt Cosmetics, and this is where everything went wrong in the last video because I'm like, okay, maybe Mac put me on their hit list and was like, this bitch needs to shut up. <laughs> That's at least what you guys said. They're like, Mac was like, stop talking shit. So this is coming in 2022, supposedly, and I just don't know if anybody actually cares because this looks like something that they've done so many times, just with different embossing. And I'm still just like big mad at Mac ever since that tempting fake collection. Like, that's how you know it was so bad. Like, I cannot get past it. Like, I'm genuinely at the point where I'm like, I don't know if I'll actually purchase from Mac again. <laughs> Because it was that bad. Like, I just feel like the quality has gone down so much compared to what it used to be. Or maybe it's one of those things where it's like, in my mind, it used to be so amazing. But maybe just since then, I've just found things that are so much better. I don't know. I'm just over here like, no. <laughs> no, like, hard pass. Easy pass. Especially with how pissed I was about that collection. Because, damn, I was so... Y'all remember, I was so fucking hyped over that damn collection. And it did me so, so dirty. Oh, uh, let's see. Allie said, what shade of blush did you use? I used the Alien Cosmetics in the shade Gigi. And then I put the Earthy Pink from... I'll, I'll link these down below after. From Makeup by Mario and the Blush Sticks. They're fantastic. Like, Earthy Pink is the bomb.com. But I will, unless I forget, like, just leave a comment if you want to know anything that I used on my face today. Just leave a comment down below and I will answer it for you in the comments and I'll probably link it for you because that's, you know, how it makes it easier if you guys are interested. And tis the season to be shopping. I gotta blend that out more because I could still see the little dots. Now let's talk about Morphe again. I could honestly care less. I'm like, this is just a brand I'm never interested in. And I don't even know, like... This is a collaboration with Ponies Makeup. I don't know if that's a person. I don't know if that's a thing. Like, I don't know what it all it is. <laughs> but I'm just over here like, make it stop. I said that last week, but this is honestly like, I'm getting sick of this shit. I don't like this palette whatsoever. And I said this last time too. Like, I'm just over here repeating myself. Excuse me if you were watching the play or if you're watching the playback or if you were in the previous live. But you remember, like, you know how when you, you see that crush that you had from, like, 10 years ago in high school? Shit. Sometimes it's even, like, 20 years ago. Like, there's people I look at and I'm just like, what the fuck was I thinking? That's exactly what I do for Morphe. Because I used to love their shit. And they don't do anything different than, like, what I used to love from them. I think it's just my taste has changed so much. <laughs> but damn... I just think of that, like, analogy every single time. I'm like, oh, I'll just, I'll see, like, old crushes that I had or old boyfriends and it's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> what were you thinking? Oh, look at, oh, I thought I ran out. Next one, I'll run out. <sighs> Let's go over it for shits and giggles. High Pigment Payoff Pressed Powder Constellation Sky Artistry Palette for $36. Then you have the Constellation Sky Lip Jelly Trio. They look almost like lip balms, I'm assuming. They're $20 for the trio. The Perfect Finishing Touch Constellation Sky Face and Body Embellishments for $7. Available November 18th. You can use code TREADMOOD. This will be available at Ulta. I, I honestly could care less. I don't like this at all. Like, their palettes are fucking huge. That's just one thing. I'm so over it. <laughs> and then it's just, no. This is just such an easy no for me. I'm sorry if you love the brand, but damn. Yes, Lisa, or no, it's Pink Sparkle. We have evolved a hundred, a hundred fifty percent. We have totally evolved. My taste is just so different. <laughs> and then we have Bobby Brown. I think this is where we left off for the last video. So Bobby Brown, this is coming in 2022. So very early sneak peek. Here's the thing with Bobby Brown. And guys, did you catch it like, I intentionally wiped off my freaking concealer to use this and proceeded to still not use it. 
I can't. Anyways, so Bobby Brown. This is what always happens. Initially, when I first see his, or not his, her stuff, I am initially like, yes, I'm here for it. I love it. Like, this packaging, love it. The embossing, the look of it. Like, literally everything. I'm totally here for it. But, (laughs) this is what happens every time is I just forget about it or something else just piques my interest so much more and I just forget about it. And I have a feeling that that's probably what's going to happen with this because it's nothing really different than what we've seen. And with Angel Naked, I can't translate it on live, so I can't even really tell you exactly what this is. Let's see if... Because sometimes, like, certain things. So it looks like the holiday highlighting powder is Pink Glow, which I'm pretty positive Pink Glow is a re-promote. So already right there, I'm just like, yeah, easy pass. And then the China Holiday Sheer Finish Press Powder. I don't think that's pictured, is it? Oh, we didn't go through this stuff. They got lip products, pressed powder. Like, this packaging is so cute. I love, I don't really love the lip packaging, but I really like this, like, marble effect that's super cute. But it's going to be something that I'm just like, nah. Nah, I'm not interested. Like, I totally get, like, why Bobby Brown does, like, the same shit over and over and over again. Because I feel like with her, probably, audience and not just audience, her customer base, it's probably like the basic bitch sort of makeup aesthetic, which is, I mean, realistic. (laughs) But I'm just over here like, I love basic, but there's other stuff that just catches my attention so much more. Even like in store, like if I see a Bobbi Brown display, I'm just like, no, no. I don't know. There's just something about the brand that doesn't pique my interest. Then we have some new stuff. You guys will be probably pleasantly surprised when I say this. I'm actually kind of excited because Maybelline, I feel like they, I don't know, like I feel like Drugstore has not really launched that much interesting stuff and let's let's not get crazy. This isn't anything really new. But whenever complexion comes out at the drugstore, I'm always interested because I feel like complexion is one thing. Like, complexion and mascara is the the two things that I feel like drugstore actually does really, really well. And I just remember Maybelline being one of the best for mascaras. Now, this looks like the same exact mascara that they already came out with. I'm not really sure what the difference is because it's the sky high. It's the one that was like trending all over fucking TikTok. The sky high cosmic black. Is it like a different color? I'm not really sure. But I would be curious to try it again. But either way, I feel like I would just be like, it's a fucking mascara. So then they're going to have the Superstay Matte Inks. I think is what they're called. They're basically like matte liquid lipsticks. I think I just saw, actually, before I started this video, I think I just saw Morgan Turner got these in PR, so I wonder if she'll do like a lip swatch video or something. But I think what I'm most excited about is the Superstay Concealer. Again, just because I'm always curious about drugstore especially for complexion, but I'm so curious to see how long this takes to come to the freaking drugstore because I did see this. I have it linked already down below at Ulta. So I'm like, all right, if I were to see this in store, maybe I'll go tomorrow. That sounds like a good idea. I wish the Sephora sale was going on for one more day because I would totally like make a day trip and go to Sephora one more time. (laughs) But it doesn't. It ends today. But I do need to do some Christmas shopping, so I maybe I could... <laughs> Alright, let me stop. What do you guys think? Are you interested? Are you not? I'm kind of surprised I haven't seen this on TikTok yet, but I also haven't really been on it at all today. Is it trending yet? <laughs> I don't know. I'll be curious if I find it. Maybe I'll snag it, but if I don't, I'm probably not going to go out of my way to order it. We shall see. But I'm, I'm like, alright... All right, drugstore, come through. But, like, wait a second. Let me check how much this shit is. So, the mascara is, like, 12 bucks. That's not bad. The liquid concealer is... Oh, it's the Superstay Active Wear Liquid Concealer. It's $12 as well. Matte, full coverage, lightweight, and delivers up to 30 hours of wear. Wipes out dark circles and imperfections. (laughs) Transfer-resistant formula provides a second skin feel... Ergonomic Comfort Curve Flex Applicator in 11 different shades. 
Yeah, I want to try that. And then the Superstay Matte Ink Birthday Edition Liquid Lipstick. So this is already basically like a line that they have. They're just doing, I'm assuming, more shades. And they're going to be birthday cake scented, which love that. In two different shades. Maybe these weren't the same thing as Morgan got then. Because she had like, I think like a whole slew of them. But look at the, like the Curve Flex applicator. I'm like, I'm, I'm going to leave that one alone. <laughs> But I'm curious, like, I want to try it. So hopefully it will be actually, like, readily available in store. Not like you have to order it online. But like I said, if you like ordering online, if you don't like going in store. I don't know. My thing with the drugstore makeup, though, it's like, the I feel like the purpose of it is to be able to go in store and buy it. Like, convenience, right? Not that, like, ordering online isn't convenience, but I want that instant gratification. I want to try it right now, damn it. Okay, let me chill. Let's move on. Next one, because we didn't cover this. I don't think. Hello Taco. <sighs> this is literally Christmas in a fucking nail polish. Like, this whole thing is all Christmas. I love it. So this is the Christmas collection. Six holographic glitter polishes. How much is it? 78 bucks. I'm so here for this. Will I actually buy it? Probably not, because I always say I'm going to buy the stuff, and I never do. But you know what? I'm interested, like, that green, that red, especially since, like, I'm starting to keep up with my nails a little bit better. I'm going to go again tomorrow to get mine done, I think. But, wow, is this, like, even going to come off? Like, the fuck? This is what I hate about fucking ColourPop. Like, like, <sighs> This makes me so mad. So this is the Tinkerbell. I just like swatched it on my hand and the product just starts going in. This is why I don't buy ColourPop. I get so annoyed because it's like, it's such a waste of money. Like, yes, it's inexpensive, but this shit happens every single time. Like every single order that I do, it's like a shit show. Can you tell I'm annoyed? <laughs> like that just made me so mad. Like that's brand new. Ah. Anyways, Hello Taco, I'm here for this. I have not tried this brand yet. I always say that I want to. Who knows? Maybe now. Maybe now will be the time. Okay, that's that'll be good. I had a a freaking green liner that would have looked popping with this look, but no. ColourPop can't cooperate. See? Do y'all understand now? Okay, because I feel like sometimes people probably wish that I would cover more, like, ColourPop and lines like that. But nah. Nah, I can't. <laughs> Alright, Hello Taco, I'm here for it. Then we have CoverGirl. Look at, Drugstore's about to be on fire. CoverGirl is launching a brand new skincare line, a clean, fresh skincare, dry skin correcting cream, clean, fresh skincare hydrating cream cleanser, a mattifying oil-free moisturizer, priming glow mist, a weightless water cream. I think this is already available on Look Fantastic, I think I saw. I don't think I have it linked, but I saw it like right before I went live, so I'll have to update that. But is it just me, or when I see drugstore brands do skincare, I'm immediately like, run the other way. Just don't even, like, I can't. Like, my skin... My, I wish, I wish I did not have to pay $68 for a freaking moisturizer. I wish, but my skin is just way too finicky. My, my skin just could never with drugstore. I've tried it. It makes it break out. It just, it's all bad. Bad news bears. I don't care if it's clean. I'm still not even going to try it because I'm over here like my skin looks decently good right now and I'm not going to do it to myself. So this one I'm going to pass on. But let me know what you guys think. And then we have, I don't even know what brand this is. I was kind of confused when I was looking at it. I was just like, oh, it looks so cute. We have peanuts. <laughs> so uh, I think it's H... Wait, KHDS Store, I think, is where you can get this from? It, no, HKDS Store. This is the Peanuts Kumano Fude Brush Collection. So I'm assuming that these are natural hair, just like Fude, you know? I don't know. I could be totally wrong. 
Is this something I'm gonna buy? No, but like this is cute. I feel like this is something different. <laughs> I'm not mad at this, but <laughs> like that one brush, it looks like a heart, looks so cute. But I've literally never, <laughs> I've literally never heard of this brand before. So I'm not just gonna like throw my money at it no matter how cute it is. Let me know. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. I don't really have much to say about it. This wasn't like, I, I watched this as a kid, but I don't really remember. I was more of a Disney fan. <laughs> but it's cute. I can appreciate it. She cute. And then I forget who it was. I tagged her on Instagram when I initially posted about this. So I initially like will post things, but then I'll kind of like archive them when I don't feel like they're really relevant anymore. Just to keep my feed like looking basically the way that I want it to so it's not just filled with like a bunch of new releases you know so I posted this when I first saw that it launched but I can't for the life of me think of who it was that saw it first but anyways that's besides the point Makeup by Mario launched out of nowhere three little like four play every day little eyeshadow quads and I'm like you know what these are cute they look like they're like a little bit of a different structure as far as like Bigger pan, so probably more product, maybe. Maybe not. Could be an illusion. We don't know. But he's done little quads before. But I don't really feel like they got a really good amount of feedback. Like, I don't hear, like, anybody ever talk about them. I just think quads are, a good, are like, a good way to try a brand. And, like, I didn't end up picking these up because I was just like, I don't need that. Like... I literally don't need that because <laughs> I just, I feel like whenever I place these really big orders, like with the VIB sale and stuff, I immediately am like overwhelmed with my collection. Like I almost didn't even go live tonight because I'm like, you almost just get in like a, I don't know. I don't know if it's like a funk or what, but I'm just like, whoa, I have so much stuff. Like how do I prioritize it type of thing? So that's kind of how I was feeling. Because it's like you're excited about buying stuff and you're like, can't wait to play with it. But I'm like, there's so much. <laughs> so I was like, let me chill. Let me see if people like start to rave about these. Because I didn't want to just buy them because they were only $25. And then like, I don't know. I just, I feel like you guys know what I'm saying. I feel like I'm rambling. But these look cute though. They do look very everyday appropriate, which is fantastic like if I were just like an average makeup consumer that just bought like the basics or just like something I would wear all the time this would totally be something I would grab because it's like you have a perfect amount of variety and it's a brand that I could easily like see myself throwing money at <laughs> um yeah I'm just I I really like makeup by Mario I really do want to try his um eyeshadow formula but just not right now. <laughs> That's just where I'm currently at. So after that, we ran into Jouer. And I said this in the previous, like, one of the previous videos that I talked about Jouer. I'm like, I feel like this is a brand that I'm always, like, really excited for. Like, I really want to see them do something that's just, like, over the top and gorgeous. Because I feel like that's so... So their um, aesthetic, like, I really love the aesthetic of Jouer, but then when they launch stuff, I'm like, <laughs> like, I love basic, but it's, like, so basic. That's where I always get, like, oh, man, I just, I have, I think, just, like, and I don't even know why. I just have really high expectations with this brand for some strange reason, because it's like, listen, I'm here I want to throw my money at you. I hear your quality is incredible. But it's like every collection just kind of looks the exact same. But that's just me and my humble opinion. But damn, like the aesthetic of Jouer is so beautiful. Like, I feel like they just have a lot of potential. Like, especially if they really like leaned into the luxury aspect because it's like I feel like their stuff looks so luxurious but it just misses something and that's what I feel like even this little collection so this is I think their holiday collection and I'm like 
Jouet, honestly, for a holiday, like, you could do so much better. So you've got the Le Mini Dip Matte and Shimmer Eyeshadow Palette. It's $25, so it's, like, great price point. I'm not going to take that away. Then you've got these lip toppers, which is what I feel like everybody loved about them. And then the Life of the Party Kit, I'm assuming, is just, like, a collection like, all of the stuff together. Like, the lip toppers are beautiful. I'm pretty sure I still have, like, skinny dip or something. Remember when that one was super hyped? It's just, like, this. it looks so pretty. Like, so pretty. But they could do so much more. Like, I just, I want to see so much more. We've seen this, I think, before. Am I on crack? Like, it, does anybody else feel the same way? Or you're just like, nah, they're over there killing it. I feel like nobody's thinking that. <laughs> Oh, Lisa said it reminds you of Milani. I could see that, though. It kind of has, like, a similar, like, vibe. They need to they need to lean into, like, the luxury aspect. Because they would fucking kill it, I think, at luxury. Again, me and my humble opinion. Speaking of luxury, then we have Besame, who's over here, just, like, throwing out these Disney compacts left and right. And I'm just like, yep, they're back. They heard me talking shit. And they're like, oh, no, Brittany, we're not done. Because I felt like they started off really strong, kind of went downhill, and now they're back on the up. So the Snow White, the Snow White Compact, you got a lipstick with it. It retails for like $125 or something crazy like that. Only 500 of them are made. We talked about this previously. I think that they are doing like the same highlighter over and over and over again, and then just changing the lipsticks. This looks so fucking pretty. Oh, I love it. Like, if I was a, like, I was gonna say a Disney bitch. I'm clearly a Disney bitch. If I was a Snow White bitch, I would be all over it. And then the red lipstick is just icing on the cake for the Snow White. Oh, I love it. I love this. This one has me being like, do I want to get it? When does this launch? November 16th at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And then it probably will be available as well on Disney store. So there's that. That's cute though. I do like that. Like Besame, good job on that one. That's super, super pretty. I really like the like everything about it. <laughs> I was gonna say the embellishments, but that wasn't the right word. <laughs> then we have Byrito, as I think how you pronounce it. I don't know why. I love this palette. Like, I saw this palette and I'm just like, oh my gosh. It just, it looks so gorgeous. I'm looking in this palette right now and I'm like, I think I called this the wrong, <laughs> the wrong shade on my fuck <laughs> on my TikTok. If you missed it, I, I swatched the Platinum Hits by Indie Beat Cosmetics the other day. And I called one of the shades Soldier Boy. It's definitely called Star Boy. Oh my, oh my god. I like literally hate myself. What is wrong with me? One of these days I'll get it together. Anyways, back to Byredo. Or Byredo, Byredo. I don't know how you say this. So this is available on Selfridges, I'm pretty sure. I got an itch in my nose. This palette, this packaging, I fucking love it. I don't know why. I've looked at this, I'm like, it's like 50 shades of gray. But there's just something about it. There's something about it that is so gorgeous. It reminds me of what I loved about Metallic Denim from Tom Ford, which I bought and I still haven't used it. Like, literal clown over here. This just, oh, I love it. I just, I love the whole everything. Has any, like, has anybody reviewed this yet? Because I need to watch it, like, ASAP if they have. Because do I need this? Absolutely not. But damn, it's just the whole aesthetic, the whole vibe, the whole, like, bougie-ass look to it. I love it. I just fucking love it. Deandra, of course you love the black aesthetic. <laughs> Deandra, I look at like. I look at your Insta story and I'm just like, this bitch is Halloween all the damn time. <laughs> and I live for it. Oh my god, this palette is just beautiful. I love it. It's 60, right? 65, $67. I have a strong feel. Like, would you guys want to see a video? But I'm like, 
it's it's so much black in this palette. Like three of the four shades or three of the five shades are are like literally black. Oh, but I want it. Like it just I don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> Like, if this is, like, heavy, weighty packaging, it's just, like, done deal. I need it. I say that now, and I'm like, I totally don't need it. But then another brand, like, this is where I started to get really excited, like, picking out everything I wanted to talk about today, because I'm like, all these ones, I was like, ooh. And they're brands that I'm usually not that here for. Laura Lee Los Angeles, she came out with this blush palette. It looks like you get, I think, seven blushes and one highlighter. And it's $28. Like, excuse me. I will say, though, like, this is just, like, a little side note. Tell me that you don't kind of get Lunar Beauty vibes, though, from Laura Lee Los Angeles. Because I, I don't know why. I feel like her products, like, this totally reminds me of the, what was it, the Moon Prism palette that Manny did? I don't know. Like, I was just like, ooh! Ooh! Deandra totally. She said the pal the Byredo was New Year's Eve. Totally. I'm like, what does this packaging look like though? Like these swatches, they look super cute. The highlight looks questionable. It kind of looks a little dusty. But that third shade, that like orangey tone blush, looks fucking gorgeous. And for 28 bucks for eight shades, if this quality is good, I might be here for this one. I was just like, oh, I, like, I'm, I'm literally never, I'm never checking for Laura Lee Los Angeles. So when that caught my eye, I'm just over here like, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Yep. I was here for it. This was way more sparkly than I thought it was going to be on the, on the brow bone highlight, but it's fine. All right. So Laura Lee was just like, oh, hello. And then you've got freaking Catrice and Essence over here. Like, Disney stay hoeing around with everybody. The Sister Love Collection of Essence and Catrice celebrates the Disney Princess Limited Edition collection. I'm, I'm just going to call this. <laughs> I'm such a fucking sucker. It's disgusting. Because I'm just like, you see that bell? I'm going to fucking buy it. I'm 100% gonna buy it. And these are two brands. Like, when does this bitch ever shop Catrice or Essence? But hello, my name is Brittany and I'm a sucker for Beauty and the Beast everything. And I'm like, you know what? The packaging is just like, it's fine. But it's whenever things are like specifically Beauty and the Beast, that's when I'm like, I have to have it. So Aside from, it doesn't have, like, close-ups or anything. Like, I don't really love the structure of the palette, how it's got, like, squares and diamonds and shit. This is where I'm a sucker and I literally don't care. <laughs> I just want it because it's Beauty and the Beast and that's it. And don't judge me. Okay? Okay. So, Catrice and Essence is probably going to be very inexpensive. But this is the one for the week that I was just like, oh, bitch. I need this. Y'all ready? Are y'all ready? It's Belle Cosmetics. I've never tried this brand before. I've heard really good things, but the color stories, I'm always just like, nah, don't need it. Because they don't really fit my makeup aesthetic as much. This, though, whoo! These jewel tones, oh, yes. Fuck me up it's bell i need this like asap how much is this oh karen harris even has a code yes bitch 45 dollars, and you could use code karen harris did y'all she did y'all see she had her baby <laughs> she's so cute oh my god little side note this palette yes bitch i need this and i need it in the worst way it's right are you guys with me or you guys think i'm on crack because, oh, I love it. I love literally everything about this. I'm just waiting to see what you guys think. Because I feel like you guys are behind where I am at. <laughs> guys, thank you so much for coming back. I see there's 199 people watching. Thank you so much because, damn, that first live was a journey. We had to restart. We came back. 
I'm a little bit flustered, but we made it. I'm trying. But I appreciate you guys all coming back and cheering me on and joining me again and listening to me spiel the same shit over and over and over again. Guys, what do we think about this palette? You need to tell me because I'm over here living and breathing and dying for this this week. I think this is breathtakingly beautiful. Then we have Gemma. She's like, Freya is so cute. <laughs> she is I love the names that she picked, too. Oh, my God. So cute. I'm so happy for their family. Oh, my God. So cute. Let's see. Love It's Bell. I have all their palettes, so I'm deaf getting this one. Okay. What's your favorite? If you've purchased from It's Bell before, what's your favorite palette and why? I'm so nosy. This green on the lid is making my eyes pop so much. This is, like, a perfect eyeshadow for my color eyes. Okay, this one I definitely plan on getting. <sighs> it like took my breath away. It was so, I was just like, oh. And then another draw dropper that y'all are probably going to be excited about. I kind of peeped this in a previous video, but I saved this for later so more people heard it. Because y'all are going to want to get ready. I have a sign up link already in my description box. Ruffer Black Friday is about to be 50% off site-wide. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, buddy. I think that's the best discount they've ever done, I'm pretty sure. So, um, yeah, Ruffer, if you haven't tried them yet, this would be probably the best time. But damn, I could totally foresee so much of their stuff selling out. But what a great, like, if you know anybody that wants makeup brushes and wants really, like, amazing quality makeup brushes, this is, this is the time to get them for gifts. 100%. I tell you, I'm telling you, if, if you've tried Ruffer and you're in this live chat right now, tell them. Because don't listen to me. Listen to everybody else. <laughs> Kiki, you don't want to know. <laughs> I feel personally attacked by that question. And then I was just like, oh, oh my God. Let me put this liner on really quick. And then we'll go over. I think this is the last one that I had for this week. But I was so excited about it. And it's a brand that I usually don't get excited about. But once you see what it is, you're going to understand why. Because the nostalgia is so fucking real. And you know what? When ColourPop does collaborations, they knock it out of the park. I don't care what anybody says. No, this is not the last thing. I've got one more thing, I think, after this. So, ColourPop is doing a Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Look at how fucking cute that palette is, for one. That is Christmas in a palette. This whole collection, like, murdered it. Massacred it. Amazing. Love it. Yes, bitch. Yeah, like, I'm just looking at everything. Yup, yup, yup. This is something I would totally get for Jocelyn for Christmas. <laughs> and for myself, because I think it's so cute. But the nostalgia is so real like it's just it's so cute they did such a good job and the fact that that color story of that palette it kind of reminds me of you guys remember christmas morning from was it give me glow i still have that palette i need to pull that out for holiday this year but it kind of gives me the vibe of that palette but damn i'm just like you know what <laughs> round of applause for color pop on that one which that never ever happens on this channel <laughs> but I just think it's so cute and especially oh my liner just transferred because I closed or I opened my eye too fast I just think this is like perfect timing it's like a perfect gift especially for kids or like teen not even teens more kids but this is where I say like fuck buying this like kid like actual kid makeup the ColourPop collections would be worth throwing your money at because you're going to get probably better quality than what you're going to get with all of these, like, just quite frankly, like, expensive. Because <laughs> some of this kid's makeup is super expensive still. 
ColourPop is going to be a good price for great packaging and probably decently good makeup. So I would definitely recommend that for especially a gift, but I do plan on picking that up because I think it's so fucking cute. So then the last thing that I have for this week, I almost forgot, but who the hell can forget these? Cause damn, if you guys thought your money was flying out the window already, you're not ready for what Davina is about to do to our wallets. <laughs> Because I'm over here like we covered some of this last week, but Deandra is not stopping and um, it's about to be a problem because I'm like, Deandra, can you just like add all of these to my cart? I send you an IOU and like, I need it all. I literally need every single piece of what they have coming. So they basically have a new collection coming out that I'm the most excited about. It's basically, you know how I always talk about Moonlit? It's like Sister Shadows to Moonlit. Let me pull it out. I have to. Every single time I talk about Moonlit. Because if you're new and you've never seen it before, it's about to blow your fucking mind. So all of these like beautiful, shimmery goodness eyeshadows, they're basically all a part of the collection. I think there's six or seven total. Oh my god, look at Earthshine. comes a mama buying that whole collection but look at all these just pay, pay attention to the Davina Instagram look at all the like the new duo chromes the topper shades but but honestly the texture the texture of this eyeshadow is unlike anything I've experienced except for if you have the Scott Barnes Mesmerize palette, this is very, very similar to the silver that's in that palette. Anything else, like any other silver, does not compare to this one. It's amazing. And the fact that they're coming out to sisters, or they're coming out with sisters to this, I'm just like, take it all. Take all of my money, and I, I won't even say goodbye. I want it all. Deandra, I'm like, how dare you? How dare you? My, I just had a booger like dripping out of my nose. That was so disgusting. <laughs> I'm such a little dirt ball. But yeah, Davina, Black Friday is about to be off the chain. Start adding to your wish list now. Like basically like how Sephora does the loves list. Same concept. There's a little heart that'll show up. Go through the site and start adding things. So when everything goes live, you can just add to cart, add to cart, add to cart. Add code britches in there to get a discount check out and then you're good because that shit is gonna sell out so fast that's gonna be one of the craziest black friday sales i think probably of all the makeup sales because it's new products that are heavily discounted that doesn't happen with like every brand so i'm really excited for davina deandra we're coming for you us britches love us some davina eyeshadows but i'm literally so excited for the Moonlit Sister Collection. I can't wait to swatch it for you guys. I'll probably be posting TikToks about it. <laughs> it's your fault the shit is sold out. No. There's so many people that love Davina. It's not just my fault. Look at it. These lashes are like wonky. But guys, that was everything that I had for this week's new makeup releases. Let me throw a lip on. I've got, like, allergies. That's why my nose is running. It's disgusting. I promise I'm not such a dirt ball in real life. That's a lie. I'm just as bad. Let's do... What shade do I want to wear? What's the newest one I got from... No, that's going to be... Let's use Zaya. Maybe I'll use this. Yeah, because that'll go really nice with that duochrome eyeshadow that I have going on. Yes! <laughs> Deandra, I'll be here with open my open arms. Of course you will. She'll be like, yes, thank you so much. I'll take your money. Yes, I will. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. When is it? It starts Black Friday, right? I probably should have read that. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm ready. I am ready. Oh, oh. Uh, that was one of the worst 
lip lines I think I've ever done live. I'm trying to hurry up. That's all. That's why I'm I'm rushing. Let's throw some Zaya from Lunar Beauty on the lips. Yes, that goes actually really nice with this eye look. Yes. I love when I wing it and it works out perfectly. Oh, yeah. Juicy. Mm-hmm. Starts Turkey Day at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Yes. So how long do we expect these to last? Because probably not long. <laughs> though you guys have been closed getting ready and prepared so hopefully everything will last like a decent amount of time but yeah I'm gonna be there like pronto I'm gonna start adding things to my wish list right now let's see we'll do Celine gloss this was I think his very first gloss this is another fantastic lip gloss formula yes I love this look right now <laughs> Ashley I gotta stop watching these I'm gonna be broke <laughs> Girl, same. <laughs> I need to stop doing these videos so I stop paying attention, but they're fun, right? Isn't it fun to just shit talk all the new makeup releases while playing with new makeup? I enjoy myself. I hope you guys enjoy yourselves. Mmm, that lip color, right? She cute! So, if you're wondering what's on my eyeballs, right? <clears throat> Let's get it. I first have the Scott Barnes The Snatural 2 palette, which I just did my last video on this one. I did three looks in that video. So that's what all basically the mattes and shimmers are. But then I pulled out the Indie Beat Cosmetics, the Platinum Hits 2. I swatched this on my TikTok the other day. So this is what the palette itself looks like. It's got the white packaging, so I have to hold it sideways. But I used the shade Heartless. And then I put Lose Yourself and Blurred Lines. That's basically what's on the brow bone. And then I put, I think Just Lose Yourself is on my inner corner. I think. This palette, though, this shade about sent me. I was like, oh my god. Again, that's what's on the eyeballs. But then Starboy, I called this Soldier Boy. I'm such an idiot. Look at that. Look at it. Go check it out on Instagram and TikTok. Gorgeous. <sighs> Love it. So that's what's on my eyeballs. Everything else, if you're curious, leave a comment or maybe I'll link it if I'm feeling froggy. But I do have everything else that we talked about today linked in the description box. So let's see. Oh, you guys are talking to each other. <laughs> let's see. Davina Midnight Center about to <laughs> make me break my no buy. <laughs> I love that for you. Fuck it. That's why I don't commit to no buys because I can, I could not. Look how, sh like, pin straight my hair is. Like, when I just blow dry it, I'm like, there's no volume, no nothing. <laughs> I need to do something with this hair color, though. I'm getting, like, bored with this. What color should I, what color should I do next, guys? I kind of want to do green. Maybe? I don't know. We'll figure it out. But, guys, if you enjoyed yourself, I see we have 100 thumbs ups. There's literally double that watching right now. Come through, come through with the thumbs ups, tune in every single Monday if you guys enjoyed yourselves, if I could talk that'd be great. Make sure you guys subscribe, turn on your notifications for when I go live, you will be notified on your cell phones. Follow me on all of my socials on the side, boom, everything is down below, but where you can mainly find me is TikTok and Instagram. And I'm going to go film a little ticky tock right now of a little sneak peek at what else I got at the Sephora VIB sale because they nosy as fuck over on TikTok with hauls. So I'm going to go do that now. If you guys did enjoy yourselves, thumbs it up or thumbs it down. That's cool too. I will be back probably tomorrow. Yeah, probably tomorrow with the remainder of my Sephora VIB sale haul. You're not going to want to miss that. I got an item broken too. I'm devastated about it. But then I'll just have a bunch of other content coming. I don't even know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to prioritize. It's a hot mess express over here. So if you like that, subscribe, like I said, and I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye. <laughs>